This is Daria. I'm here with a Spotted Menace. And we have pay-per-view reactions to last night's Royal Rumble. This is Paper, what had... Pay-per-view reactions. Yeah. To Royal Rumble. We're here to tell you what had happened last night at Royal Rumble. This is what had happened was... You, you were way too proper for that intro. I want you to know that. I was not. You were way too proper with that intro because you're like, what had happened was... Oh, my God. Let's get into this. <laughs> Let's just get into this. We had Royal Rumble hit us up from uh, Minute Maid Park in Houston, Texas. And uh, we started off uh, with two pre-show matches that really could have stayed on the main card because... Yeah. I mean, I... First of all, my, 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 my big thing is never have a championship match on a pre-show. Never. Never have a championship match. No, on a people are still trying opinion, to buy their in seats. In my opinion. Yeah, people are trying to buy their seats. They're trying to buy beer. Yeah. No, no, there, should, there should be no chance that there is going to be a title change while people are still trying to find out where they need to sit down. Yeah. Now, I don't think that that's fair to the wrestlers. I don't think that that's fair to the fans. You know, I mean, again, we, we have this anything can happen kind of atmosphere yeah. going on. Where it's like, hey, championships can change hands at live shows, so why not on the pre-show? But no, don't, 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 don't do my guys like that because Amurdo Carrillo and uh, Andrade put on a pretty damn good match, and it was relegated to the pre-show. And yeah, I, I, I didn't like that too much. Yeah, but that all happened on the pre-show. Uh, Andrade retained. Shorty G lost to Sheamus, and we could just move right on to the yeah. main card, the main, the main, the big ones. We get started with Roman Reigns versus uh, Baron Corbin. Oh, thank God. And that was better than it had any right to be. It was. It, it was much better than it had any right I'm to be. I'm very happy that we got it out the way, though. Yes, I'm glad that that was the first match gone because that would have hang, hung over everybody's head like this specter just waiting yeah. for for yeah. more dog food and bad mascots and who knows what else, but instead, whatever the hell, like this, this, this was pretty well. Uh, this for, for a match that took place all over the damn arena, this was pretty well contained. Uh, it, it it was it was controlled chaos. Yeah, it was it was very nice controlled chaos. Yeah, uh, Roman Reigns and Baron beat each other all around Minute Maid Park. Uh, uh, Dolph Ziggler and Bobby Ro Robert Rude, Bobbert Rude. Bobbert. And the Usos got involved. Uh, Jimmy or Jay, I can't remember which one, came out of nowhere. Like, they're beating each other back. They're beating each other around, like, the uh, the damn, like, like around all the, all the monitors and everything. Yeah. And out of nowhere, great camera work, by the way. Out of nowhere, one of the Usos just, like, lands out of nowhere because it just pans yeah. up. It's like, oh, there's a flying goose. So like, where yeah. did you come from? Right. It was like a good three minutes of where did you come from happening in our Discord call? Yeah, it was. Because like out of nowhere, it's like, okay, here's the new so. Okay, where the frick did, did freaking Baron Corbin come from? Where the hell did Roman Reigns come from with that yeah. Superman punch? Yeah. It was it was chaos, but it was well controlled and well contained. It was it was it was exactly what it needed to be, um, and it ended with a nice spear that happened on the on the Houston Astros dugout, which was great. I mean, you know, there might have been some cheating involved, although but you never know. You know, it, it it's was all no, topical. Yeah, and it was no DQ, so who cares? Yeah, but uh, I that that was it was better than I was expecting it would be. Uh, I had very low expectations for that match. Everybody did. I don't think anybody uh, had high expectations. I don't think anybody was really caring. Yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't give a damn about this match. We we said it in our uh, predictions. We didn't give a damn. We didn't even. We didn't even belabor the point when it came down to uh, our predictions for it. We just said it, it's most likely going to be Roman Reigns and move the frick on. Um, but this was this was this was pretty well done. Um, it, it's it's less an indictment for uh, Baron Corbin and Roman Reigns. It's just more for like you know what's next. Like what is this story? What happens next? Please tell me this is coming to an end or something, something. Because if I have to endure another another six man tag match between Roman Reigns and the Usos and Dolph and Bobbert and Baron Corbin, I don't know what I'll do. I, it need just just move on, move on to something more, please. Please. Yeah, so we spent like a good six minutes talking about one match. I know, I know. We're, 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 we're trying to keep this. We're trying to keep it moving. We then have our women's uh, Royal Rumble match, which was absolutely spectacular. Started oh my off, God. We started off with Alexa Bliss and Bianca Belair, and they showed their asses off. Bianca Belair is a star in the making. Put a rocket 
to and my phone is to turn around and it's nobody. I don't know why it's doing that. <laughs> But like, just strap a rocket to her because like she like she she's taking off flying is pretty quickly a freaking star. Yeah, just let her go up to the up to the moon because she was eliminating people left and right. She was making like she from the moment she skipped her ass on down yeah. to the ring. First of all, how you gonna have Bianca Belair in a in a Royal Rumble match and not give her a hair whip spot? Yeah, I want to know that too. But first of all. She was like number two. She was number two. She ended up lasting like thirty minutes in the damn role. Yeah, Rumble. I think she did. Did she? Yeah, like, uh, about thirty three minutes. The longest run in in the Rumble. Thirty three minutes. She did. She, she did. lasted the whole time there. And eliminated quite a few people. Eliminated eight people. Eight people. Just yeah. straight up, and just looked like a freaking boss. I wanted her to stay in there. I did. But too. of course, it had to be Charlotte just coming in here, just being a big old wet blanket. Yeah. Wet blanket. Charlotte coming in there and eliminating Bianca Belair, and it's just hurting my heart. Yeah. That hurt my freaking heart. Like I, I, I wanted. It was a long stretch for her to last the whole freaking rumble. But at the same time, yeah. I, 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 like, like I was, I was like, okay, don't eliminate her before she does a hair whip spot. Don't eliminate her before we do some amazing thing in the ring. But no, you know, Charlotte Flair had to come in there and douse all of our hopes. Uh, the the match in general though was still pretty damn good. We got yeah, a lot of surprises. Was. We got yeah. Dakota Kai. Chelsea Green showed up, even though they got eliminated uh, pretty damn quickly. Chelsea Green el- eliminated in like twelve seconds. Mia Yim showed up, Candice LeRae, Mercedes Martinez. Mercedes, oh, my girl. I need to see Mercedes Martinez and um, what's her face? Shayna Baszler? No, no. Uh, oh, Sonya uh, Deville. Sonya Deville. I need oh, to see that match. Oh, my God. I definitely need to see that That would be an orgasmic match roster. right there. It needs to happen. Uh, and we got some We got some nice, uh, you know, glimpses right here. And Naomi came back, you know. Again, she was a May, yay, showed yay, her yay, natural yay, born ass. Yeah. She she did well. She didn't have any eliminations, but like she she you no, know, she lasted long. She she came into a nice little pop, did a few things. I don't know why the hell they brought in Kelly Kelly because like that came in with a kind of a dud. Yeah. It was like Kelly Kelly, and everybody's like, yay, yay, and then <laughs> that was, it was kind of funny. Kelly Kelly did her little spin around uh, head scissors, right? Yeah, and screamed the whole time. Is that what that was? Yeah, she did her little thing. And then Carmella did it, and it just seemed much more fluid. Like, literally, like, minutes later, Carmella did the exact same move, and it, it felt much more fluid, and like, oh, this is great. This is amazing, you know? Carmella still got it. I love her. You know, it's, just, it's amazing. Yeah. Um, everybody else in this match I enjoyed, uh, aside from whoever came in the number 29 spot, Santina Morella. Why, like, why? Why? We're not gonna speak about why, that. Why? 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 Why was that a thing? Like, like that that the comedy aspect wasn't there, and it's just mm-hmm. like that's that's old hat. Just just move the frick on. Why? Yeah. Why? 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 Why must that exist? Yeah. Um. That is. And then coming out number thirty. No, no, we're not. We're not done because Shayna Baszler came in. At oh, she did. Yes, she did. Yeah, Shayna Baszler came in. We we didn't know if it was gonna be Ronda Rousey, Shayna Baszler, or Nia uh, Nia Jax. Shayna comes in, cleans freaking house. Of uh, of uh, is Shayna? Yeah, she she cleans house, and then we have our final four, which was uh, Natalia, Beth Phoenix, who apparently I missed the spot that it happened on, but what happened was her head. At the back of the ring post. That's how she got uh got bloody because she was oh. spouting blood. It looked like she had dyed her hair red yeah, by the does. time that she got eliminated. Yeah. Because like it went from just like a small red spot to just like spreading all the way down the back of her head. Yeah. Charlotte had like, you know, streaks of blood whenever she was trying to eliminate her. Yeah. It was crazy. Yeah. But our final four was Natalia, uh, Beth Phoenix, Charlotte, and Shayna Baszler. I was rooting super hard for Shayna Baszler because she came in. Yeah, I was too. Of course. Got the same amount of eliminations of Bianca Belair. Eight eliminations. Should have been nine because like she's sitting here holding up Charlotte. Yeah. It's just like, just kick her. Just kick her. Just get rid of her. You're right there. You are right. There's something about Royal Rumble matches where like the contestants just do dumb stuff. We're going to get to that when we get to the men's. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus Christ. But... Charlotte ends up hanging on and pulling uh, Shayna Baszler out, and she wins. Yay! Lol, Charlotte wins. That's that's great. It's great. You you know they have to keep her with gold. 
I wanted I wanted Shayna because I that, I, I, won think, this. I think that would have been perfect. Yeah. It would have been a nice uh, little Shana rematch. Shayna could have won this. Shayna could have taken all of this, and of she could have main evented at WrestleMania. It would have been perfect. It would have been perfect because she's not yeah. doing anything right now. It would have been it would have been a nice transition from like top of the top of NXT to top of whatever main roster spot she would have taken uh, whenever she Cause, cause, challenged somebody for her. Yeah, because to be quite honest, I could see Shayna and Becky, or who else has the title? Bailey. I don't know if that uh, too much because we'll, we'll get to that in a second. We'll, we'll definitely get to that. Yeah, in a you, you could have let Shayna won. But uh, but Charlotte is your winner of the Women's Royal Rumble. Overall, though, the match was actually pretty damn good, pretty nice, and pretty entertaining. It, it lasted about uh, just shy of an hour, but it was it moved by pretty damn quickly. Yeah. It moved by pretty damn quickly. Uh, those ninety seconds are not ninety seconds, you know, between the entrance, but we all know this now. But <laughs> but uh, yeah, Charlotte gets the win. That was that was pretty fun. Um, and we follow that up with, again, we, we said we were going to talk about it later, Bailey versus Lacey Evans. And thankfully, this, this was be, a short match. Yeah, it was a short match. Nothing really to it. I don't think anybody was like, like I think I think we got so hyped for seeing some of the, some of our favorite uh, women's wrestlers. Uh, Coming back Shana to Baylor, Royal Rumble. Yeah. And then we got de- kind of sort of deflated by Charlotte winning. Yeah. And we just didn't really care. Like, we were talking throughout this whole match, and we kind of, barely paid any attention to it. Yeah. And there was there was really nothing to this. Uh the big finish was Lacey going for her it's it's an impressive and athletic ass moonsault where she, you know, hops from the second rope to the top rope, yeah. does a moonsault, and Bailey gets her knees up and kicks her in the gut and then she pins her. Yeah. And it's like that was a match that happened. Yeah, that's happened. that's literally yeah. with that match. That's you got what you. Yeah, it was it was a, it was a nice buffer match. You could have had one of these smaller matches be the buffer match and let them put on a better show because because yeah. Lacey's gotten better in the ring. Bailey has always been pretty solid in the ring. They yeah, put on a nice nice little uh, nice little match, but instead what we got was just eh. It was a, it was okay. It was a nice little buffer between this and the other event. Um, we follow that up with. Um, which, which came next? The Fiend? Yeah, the, the yeah, strap match. Yeah, the strap match. Yeah, of we, course, we, we that was a good match. the universal title strap match. That could have been a bad match. It could have easily been, have been a bad match. It would have been a bad match if they kept the red light on. Thankfully, there's no red light on this match. There's no overbearing red light on during this match. We had a nice, clean, everybody can freaking see it match yeah. that happened. And, and the Fiend just no Daniel sold Bryan. nothing. Oh my god. Daniel Bryan got straight up whooped. Yeah. Daniel Bryan got whooped like like a kid who di- forgot to take out the damn uh, chicken from the freezer. Why is it the chicken from the freezer? Why couldn't it be like he forgot to take out the garbage or something? He forgot to Nobody getting the whooped. Floor. Nobody getting whooped for or garbage. Put Nobody the getting whooped for garbage. In the banana caddy. Why does it have to be taking chicken? Ain't nobody from the getting whooped for that, but people getting whooped for not taking out that chicken. Cause, Cause, like, that's dinner. You done messed everybody dinner up, and your mom's coming home from work, and you ain't take the chicken out to get defrosted. You crazy? He mm. got whooped. He got beat. I'm talking welts all over the place. Just got beat from stem to stern. Yeah. That's 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 the phrase, right? From stem to stern. I guess I, I, don't, know. I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but Daniel Bryan got absolutely whooped. But he put up a nice fight. They told a nice story. This was this was a long match, but it didn't feel long. Oh, it did. And it also didn't feel like Daniel Bryan didn't have a chance during this. Oh yeah, no. Like, there were glimpses all throughout this match. Like I don't know how many running knees he hit and how many the fiend took. But like the fiend just no sold nothing. Yeah, he he no sold Which is a what lot, made but it, it worked. It did. It definitely worked. This was this was unlike uh, Seth Rollins's uh, match with, with the, fiend, the fiend, where which like was he the just fiend's like first match. Well, not his of... first match, his second match, because the first match was against Finn. Okay, well, yeah, yeah it, but it sucked. Yeah, no, no, the Finn match wasn't bad. With Seth. Oh yeah, with Seth that sucked. It was like what's what Seth drops like nine freaking curb stomps in a row and then the fiends just laying down of course we now know that like you know there was a concussion involved and a bunch of other stuff that that, at play but the match still you know failed on on telling a pretty compelling story but in this one it actually told that like the fiend is a monster and what can daniel bryan do and daniel is like there, there's a moment where where he just dropped a knee on the fiend and he kicked out and daniel's like okay okay I got this though because I at least felled the fiend. But like as his back is turned, 
Bray Wyatt gets up and stands yeah. up and Daniel turns around and he's just like, what do I got to do? But instead yeah. of just like giving up, he still goes after him. Yeah, he does. But it ended up, you know, with the Fiend just, you know, beating the crap out of Daniel. Daniel kind of coming back and beating the crap out of the Fiend, but just like straight up, as you said, no selling it. He see, like, how do you not wince when you're getting beat by a, a I, I, leather now strap? That, that's some that's some talent right there. That's like, talent right there. Cause like that's a leather belt. Cause like I, I don't care how much you try to say. It's like hey yeah yeah this 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 right here you gotta like no sell it. Yeah, like, it's still a belt. You're still getting whipped. You're still taking pain, and you're just like nah, I'm just gonna no sell it. Like I don't know how you do that. I don't I don't know how you do that. But it ends when uh, Bray Wyatt hits a very damn hard look and basically a mandible claw choke slam on Daniel Bryan. Yeah. Really great match. I, I definitely highly recommend it. Probably the match of the night uh, right there. Uh, then we follow it up with Asuka versus Becky Lynch for the uh, Raw Women's Championship. I was rooting hard for Asuka on this one. I think everybody was rooting hard for Asuka. Yeah. Um, but again, we're still not happy with when Asuka came from NXT to the main roster and how they just stripped all of that from her. So I think whenever... Asuka is up for contention of a main title match. Yeah. Everybody is rooting for Asuka. Yeah. I, 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 want, I, I don't I want think that's going to fail. But, I, want, yeah. I want nothing but the, but the best for Asuka. She had a great match. Yeah. Like, this was a great match. It was. This was definitely was. a great match. Uh, even though I was kind of disappointed by the outcome, uh, uh, especially yeah. with Asuka tapping. I didn't like that. Yeah. But it is what it is. What it, is. it was still a very damn good match. Yeah. Uh, Becky Lynch and Asuka work very well together. Uh, I'm hoping that this continues on further down the line, and I'm hoping that Charlotte goes after Bailey because I don't want to see another Charlotte versus Becky, Becky Lynch. Lynch. Yeah, man, man, please no, no more. Please, let's, let's get something fresh and new. I want to see Oscar continue to grow uh, on the main roster because she's she's doing that. I'm loving the character that they got with her right now. Yeah, but she basically just misses a mist. She missed the mist. Yeah, she missed the mist. Just misses yeah. the mist. But it was a good match. It was, it was, it was a great match. Yeah. And like Kyrie Sane also didn't get super involved. That's that was also a plus. Also. Oh yeah. Yeah. I, I didn't need to see that. I didn't need to see Kyrie Sane get super involved yeah. in this match. Yeah. Um she just let her do her thing. Yeah, just let her do her thing. It's like cause she can hold her own. We we don't need to see too many shenanigans. Yeah. It comes down to Oscar. Yeah. Um but Becky Lynch ends up retaining uh with the disarmor. <laughs> And we finally finish up this whole event because this 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 whole event didn't feel long. This whole Royal Rumble didn't feel long at all whatsoever until you got to the men's Royal Rumble. Because entering number one is the WWE Champion Again? Brock Lesnar. Why? Entering Why? Number, entering number two was Elias, and for a good twenty minutes. That was funny though. It was. I'm sorry. That was fun. That yeah, was there, 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 there was some nice that comedy was bits right here. Uh, but but for a good 20 minutes, it's basically just Brock destroying the field. Yeah. It was Brock destroying the field. And there were glimpses of it. Now, yeah. after the event happened, I was straight up on the frick Brock Lesnar train. And I still am. I still am. I definitely am. But I, I at least got to commend them for telling the story that they did because they did tell a pretty damn good story even though I didn't like the story's beginning which was just basically Brock Lesnar beating down on everybody beat down Elias beat down uh, two thirds of uh, the New Day and Rey Mysterio betrayed Shelton Benjamin who was like yo yo man let's let's work together he's like nope don't need you mm. Keith Lee comes out here's what I'm talking about when I said that what's there's something about the Royal Rumble that makes people dumb. Keith Lee comes out, stands tall against Brock Lesnar. He actually stunned Brock Lesnar yes. quite a few times. And, and like the whole time, which surprised the hell out of everybody. We were yes. like, "Whoa!" Because you could just see on Brock's face, like, "Holy shit, this guy is no joke." Yeah, he ain't no joke. Yeah, he ain't no joke. No, and, he's not. and he was at least smart enough yes. to be like, "Hey, I'm going to do all the good things to knock Brock down." Yeah, Braun Strowman comes next. Bruh, Bruh. you got Brock beating everybody out, throwing everybody out of the ring. He's the biggest threat on the card. The biggest threat. Why would you go after Keith Lee? Keith Lee ain't trying to come after you. Keith 
he ain't trying to come after you. He's like, I see Brock as a threat. I'm going after Brock. I see you come down the ring, Braun. Guess what? Let's go after Brock. No. You want to go after Keith Lee? You want to leave the ring to go after Keith Lee? And then you both got your asses eliminated because of that shit. Excuse my language. That was dumb. Yeah. That was dumb. I think I think at that point I was done. I think Everybody at that was. point I was done cuz like cuz like I mean like Brock taking out Biggie and Kofi and Rome we, uh, and and Rey Mysterio yeah, and a we bunch were already of pissed. bunch of these other people MVP came back wearing the freaking Black Panther gear. I love that. I oh I, it was so amazing and then he just gets tossed out and I'm like, "No, why?" But Keith Lee, the the Keith Lee elimination was the part where I was just like, you know what? Done. I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, if you but want to be honest. Watching. Yeah. Uh, for as long as Brock was in there, I just toned completely out. Yeah, we he got 13 eliminations for this one, too. Yeah, yeah. I kind of zoned completely out. I mean, to be quite honest, once Ricochet and Drew came in and... I, th- I think we were like, this This is going to be a shit show. Yeah, yeah. But then Ricochet did a smart-ass move and Drew caught it. You kick which, him in the dingus. Yes. You kick him in the ding ding. Drew to land, what was that, the flying The Claymore. Kick? The Claymore. And get him the f- out of my ring. And he was out. After that, I didn't give a shit. I was happy. We were happy. We were like, get him the yep. freak out of my ring. And he was gone. And in that one moment, they created, they created a king. They made a king. Because Drew, ever, ever since he left uh, whatever little mini stable that they that he had with Baron Corbin and, and Bobby Lashley and them, and dropped that whole, like, I'm here to destroy everybody. I'm the big guy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, character trait that he had. Once he dropped that and he basically just became like, hey, I'm Drew McIntyre. I'm here to enjoy myself. I am not heel. I am not face. I am just Drew. He became much more enjoyable to watch and much more enjoyable on the mic. Yeah. And then they had him do that. And that was the story they were telling. They created a villain in Brock Lesnar getting rid of some of our favorite wrestlers in short order and pissed us off to the fullest extent. Mm-hmm. If the, if we shot this last night, if we shot this last night, I would have hated this even more. But I, I'm actually okay with this now. Yeah. A few hours later, I'm okay with this yeah. now because yeah. I see what they were doing. Drew gets rid of the freaking monster. Yep, he Get did. rid of the beast. And he then did. we finally have like a, it's, it's a half, field of uh, uh the Royal Rumble now because like after it's like Ricochet came in at 15 yeah. and Drew at 16 so yeah. we only have half the field left yeah but like now when people come out to the ring it's more excitement because yeah. Brock is gone Brock is There's gone no we're happy easy elimination. no it's done it, we're like, happy Ed showed I, up Ed showed up and we were like yo this is some amazing shit right yeah, here yeah yeah it's, 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 we're fine with this now but then you know King Corbin showed up for reasons and then Matt Riddle shows up and then King Corbin eliminates Matt Riddle and then we're like leave just leave get gone nobody cares leave us yeah. Baron bye bye Baron bye bye but you know the the rest of it was pretty damn fun uh, everybody everybody else who showed up it, it was basically anybody's match and yeah. I love that we didn't know what was going to happen. No, nope. uh, our final four ended up being uh, Roman Reigns, Randy Orton, Edge, which has some symmetry there because Edge and Beth Phoenix were part of both part of the final four. That was great. Yeah, they were. And then Drew and McIntyre. You just told me that they were married. Yeah, they're married. I did not know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they're, they're husband and wife. It's awesome. That's, that's cute. Awesome. Uh, but there's our final four, and I would have been fine with pretty much anybody. Uh, uh, I would have been fine. I would have been fine. No, I'm gonna have to disagree. I really was rooting for Drew. Everybody else, I really I, I said not. I was fine with. I didn't say I was rooting for anybody. I was rooting for Drew. Drew was on yeah. my card. Yeah, that was one of my selections. I wanted Drew to win. I mean, either way, I would have been, been fine. But I still wanted yeah. Drew to win, and he did. Yeah, and I was really elated. I really pray he goes after Brock. Yeah, he's got to. 
He's definitely got. I'm really afraid he goes after Brock. Brock. The only the only downside because I see a story and I see a good storyline coming for WrestleMania. Oh yeah, that would that'd be great. I could just see this. That'd definitely be great. Uh, the only real downside I think I have is uh, AJ Styles. I, I, somewhere down the line, I think he might have uh, taken an injury or gotten a stinger or something. Because like when he got eliminated, it didn't look like it was something that was supposed to happen. Yeah. Because like Edge tossed him out over the ropes and he you know goes down to the floor and it looks like everybody stops for a second and was like, "Was was that supposed to happen?" Or okay, yeah. let's just let's just. Keep it going. Yeah, yeah. So I, I don't I don't know what happened with AJ, but like everything else about this, you know, from the storytelling of Brock, even though I'm still on the frick Brock train, uh, from the storytelling of Brock, uh, getting felled by Drew McIntyre, taken out by Drew McIntyre, and the way that they had him win and making him the king, the pop that he got, how many years has it been? Starting off from being the chosen one, getting the IC title. Uh, leaving WWE after becoming a member of three man band. Yeah. Coming back after like a few years in like Impact and Defiant and a bunch of these other smaller promotions, winning championships there, winning championships there, comes back, wins the NXT championship, has to drop it. Uh, at, well, not has to drop it because he lost it to Andrade, but like oh, he got yeah. injured after that. Yeah. And now he's up on the main roster and he's just directionless until now. Yeah. Until this point. And I'm like, yo, you started crying. I started tearing up a little bit. Oh, yeah. I think I think I yelled in the call. You get to cry like a little bitch because you deserve it. Yeah. <laughs> you got to cry. Yeah. He, like, he definitely deserved. He yeah. definitely deserved that cry. Uh, but that ended up being uh, the end of Royal Rumble right there. That's that's how we ended it with Drew McIntyre pointing to the WrestleMania sign for the first time. In his, this is his first ever uh, world championship uh, contention. Yeah. This is the first time he's got a chance to fight for it. And yeah. that's, that's amazing in and of itself. Uh, but the whole event was, as I said, it went by pretty quickly. Started off at, at about like six o'clock our time. Ended at around... Ten. Not even ten. Uh, no, it was. It was ten oh five. Ten oh five or ten oh eight. Okay, so that, 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 for, for a rumble, that's that's pretty short. Yeah. Because that, that includes like, you know... Uh, the pre-show, the pre-show and, and everything else. Stuff. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this was a pretty like. What would you? How would you grade this on a on an A to F scale? Like, how would you um, you know what? I would actually give this a solid B. Yeah, a solid B, a solid yeah. B. Uh, I probably have, would have given it an A if uh, Shayna had won. Yeah, if Shayna uh, I, had I'd won, probably given it an A because that would have been an amazing thing. They would have moved the the Reigns and Corbin match and put Andrade and. Uh, Umberto. Umberto, if they would have kind of like switched that instead of having that a pre-show, it, it would have been an A for me. Yeah, uh, I, I I guess a good solid B. This is this is this is definitely uh, it was a very emotional night. It yeah. definitely was a very emotional night. Yeah. It, was, it was still very fun, especially in our Discord call. If you want to hop into our Discord calls, uh, hit, hit us up on the DM on uh, at, at Hill Kaiju on Twitter, and we'll probably throw y'all a link because yeah. we, we love hey, we, we love having like you know a big party of people to talk with and just have fun and enjoy ju- just enjoy some good wrestling. This yeah, is, this it's was some just an atmosphere decent, where you are yeah. allowed to let loose and. Enjoy yourselves, Enjoy yeah, yourself. all inclusive and everything, and and we 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 absolutely love this. Um, really, uh, we're gonna we're gonna start doing this a lot more. We're gonna drop you all some more. What had happened was uh, after after specials and pay per views and everything. Yeah. You feel good with this? I do. I'm happy. Feel, feel, feel happy with this? I do. Very happy with this. But yeah, you know, make sure to. Let us know how y'all felt about Royal Rumble. Like, you know, drop a like, comment down below, subscribe, hit hit all those little buttons right there and, you know, help our channel, you know, grow even more because we do like to hear from you, our Kaiju faithful. But until next time, we'll catch y'all later. Deuces. Bye.